very weird. Boxes and boxes of toilet paper, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Can I come in? Yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. And tonight, Target 8 is on the trail of an alleged price gouger. Michigan's attorney general sent this store a cease and desist order. After getting complaints, the store was trying to sell hand sanitizer at 60 bucks a bottle. Target 8 investigator Susan Samples confronted the store's owner today. Susan. Hey, Lindsay. So far, the AG has received a total of 75 mostly price gouging complaints against various sellers statewide, and it's contacted four stores directly ordering them to stop, including this Ann Arbor store whose online ad touched off a barrage of complaints to Michigan's AG from people across the country. It all started with this tweet, AM Cleaning and Supplies advertising Purell hand sanitizer this week at 20, 40, and 60 bucks a pop, or $5 a gram. The post spread fast, as did online fury, over a sales pitch so brazen and bizarre, I had to check it out myself. I got to the Ann Arbor strip mall store just in time for a toilet paper shipment. Where's your Purell? The sanitizer, on the other hand, was sold out, but owner Anthony Marshall insisted none of it went for those inflated prices. To explain why you were trying to sell oh, Purell no, for 60 were, bucks a bottle. They were they were priced accidentally wrong online, so we apologize for that. How is that um, possible? We've never sold any Purells for that price. I know, but you price, tried to. No, no, yeah, no, no. That no, was no. a joke photo. Enter the store's co-owner, who didn't share her name, but did say those price tags on Twitter were actually for other products, not the Purell. Some toilet paper dispensers that we had on the shelf. We moved for room for sanitizer. We didn't move the tags yet. We were like, ha ha ha, wouldn't that be funny? Turns out, no, not funny, not to nervous people watching out for scams online, and definitely not to Michigan's attorney general. This was outrageous. The AG sent a cease and desist letter to AM Cleaning and Supplies, noting that AM had pulled the post. The AG thinks it's because of the backlash online. Too late, says Joe Pochin, who oversees the AG's Consumer Protection Bureau, which is investigating whether AM was indeed trying to price gouge. That one seemed to be a pretty cut and dry case. The attorney general wants lawmakers to toughen penalties for price gouging in emergencies. Bills introduced this week would increase civil fines and make it a criminal misdemeanor. The bills also clarify if a business sets a price more than 10% higher than what it was before the emergency hit, that can trigger an AG investigation. The new legislation does add some clarity there. Still not exactly clear what was behind this posting. What the owners did make obvious, it was time for me to go. Thank you very much for stopping by. We won't know if that store will face any fines until the AG completes its investigation. It is also still looking into the Allendale hardware store that sold individual dust masks in Ziploc baggies for 10 bucks a piece. That store had to respond to the AG's enforcement letter by today, and I'm told it has done so. We'll, of course, track what happens in those cases. Lindsay?